So who makes the best locking air chuck? So to do this, we'll see if they do leak at what pressure, and we can also look at flow. Let's take a quick look at each and go into testing. Cheapest here being the Merlin, MSRP of $6, 150 PSI max rating, closed flow design, and is made in China. Dual tabs here, allowing for two stacked jaws to grab the valve stem. Coming in at $10, we do have the central pneumatic. The only way to get the locking chuck is if you buy the tire inflator. Max rated PSI of 220 is only available in open flow and is made in China. You notice a single tab there to grab the valve. Next, we have the Heltec. MSRP of $12, max PSI rating of 300. Closed flow also available with open flow and is made in Taiwan. For $25, they also offer this made in USA. Simple collar that slides back, opening three jaws. And then when you push the collar forward, those jaws are there to grab the valve stem. Milton, $13, 150 max PSI, closed flow. It is not available in open flow and it is made in Taiwan. Single holding tab there. Astro two pack, MSRP of $15. Max PSI rating of 250. Closed flow design with open available, made in China. Has two tabs there to grab the valve stem. Very similar design here to the Milton, but you can see how much smaller the Milton is. And again, it does have a single tab versus the two on the Astro. Jin key, $16, closed flow, also available in open flow, made in China. Four jaws with four teeth to grab onto the valve stem. Jayco comes in a two pack, MSRP of $28, max PSI rating of 200, is only available in open flow, and it is made in Taiwan. Single release lever, for what looks to be two on this one side. Lock inflate, MSRP of $50, max PSI rating of 150, closed flow, available in open flow, made in South Africa. So here's some additional data here in this table. So we'll do pressure testing first. We'll start with the Merlin. You can hear it there leak a little bit, but overall actually, surprisingly, not too bad. So next we'll try the tire inflator from Harbor Freight. If it's not straight on there, definitely going to leak. Another fault with this is this gauge is way off. Here's the Helltech. Any movement there and it loosened right up and now it's actually off of the valve stem. Milton. Wow, that won't even stay on at all. The Astro. Gin key. You can see that collar does loosen up if it's wiggled quite a bit, but it is holding there. Jayco here is gonna be a little bit tricky because it is open flow. This would be something you would definitely use with a tire inflator. It does seem to hold and the lock inflate. Not a problem. Now I did find it interesting that the Milton and the Astro here did have trouble with this Schrader valve. But I tested it on a tire and they both sealed fine. All right, so this is a brand new valve stem. We'll go ahead and try this here. So here's this Haltech again. And it is actually holding. Here's the Astro.
Milton. Central pneumatic. Two on the gauge setup and one on a tire. The Merlin, Astro, and Central Pneumatic didn't do very good. All the rest didn't have a problem with this Schrader valve. So to me, another big deal other than leaking would be the flow test. So I'm gonna go ahead and do each one here. So I'm not gonna make you watch it all. I'll show you the best and worst performance and the table at the end. It's gonna be pretty straightforward here. We're gonna bring air in. Then we can see the pressure. We can compare the pressure to the graph here. And this is going to be our restriction, of course, our fitting going out. Wow, that's pretty bad there. Uh, looking at about four. So you have it, so the Jayco and the lock inflate there at the top, again, this is open flow versus closed flow. And the worst being the gin key, the flow rate is about half uh, compared to the rest on the market. You can definitely tell that right here. So what's my final takeaway? Well, I would stay away from this style, Milton and Astro. Yes, they worked on the tire, but I also found that they ended up not working on this Schrader valve. Of course, this one's been used quite a bit. But this one was new, and they also leaked on this one as well. Central pneumatic, yeah, it's cheap, but if this hose is not directly straight on the valve stem, even on a tire, it tends to leak. Helltech worked on two out of the three valve stems. I think it's decent for the price, but just remember, two out of three. Old Style Merlin did well for the price. I don't care for the unlock lever here. And even pushing in on the valve stem, I did struggle at times to get this off of the stem. Jinki, compact, locked pretty well. If you moved it around, it does unlock, but overall it locked and stayed on without any leaks. Half the CFM compared to the rest, basically. Yeah, I also don't like that it's got a pin style to depress the cartridge in the valve stem. The only place I could see this possibly working out well or if you got four of these, one on each tire, and you're inflating all four tires at the same time. But again, that CFM is horrible out of this. So we're left with the Jayco and the lock inflate. Now the Jayco did have just as good as flow tests as the lock inflate. But again, be aware, this is an open style versus a closed style. And you can only get this in the open style. And the Jayco only has one single tab there that's locking on to your valve stem. Now I do think overall the lock inflate is the best with the six jaws there locking on to the valve stem. And it's similar to the lock and lube coupler where the sleeve is coming up over top of the jaws locking it into place. Again, flow is at the top compared to the rest, but it's easy to use, easy to lock on, and I didn't find any leaks while moving it around attached to the valve stem. Yes, the lock inflate is at the top price tag wise, but it is going to be my pick here. Just for the sheer fact of how it actually attaches to the valve stem and there is good flow through the chuck. Now, one thing I will say, this was sent to me by lock inflate. Now they did not sponsor this video or pay me anything. They just sent me this. They seen my review of the lock and grease coupler there. Take that as you will, but overall, from my testing, I find this lock and flake coupler to be the best. But hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.